Happy solstice to the twins. This is for you, Gemini. Now, happy summer solstice to those in the northern hemisphere and happy winter solstice for those down under in the southern hemisphere. The solstice in both hemispheres occurs on June 20th of 2016, and that's going to have an ingress of the sun from the sign of Gemini, the twins, into the sign of Cancer, the crab. However, it's going to happen at 6 35 p.m. in the evening at Eastern Daylight Time and at 10.35 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, so it's in the night. So if you're using, and it's, it's going to occur on the 20th for both the Northern and the Southern Hemispheres, but what you need to understand is that if you're going to do any kind of invocation for planetary energies, any kind of astrology or angel invocations that has to do with the Zodiac, then you're going to have to understand it's going to still be in Gemini until later on in the day or evening if you're in those time zones. So just have a heads up for that. We've got some extra special rune stones also for your predictions that are going to be one we've gotten for the northern hemisphere and one for the southern hemisphere for Gemini in the north, Gemini is in the south. So stay tuned for that. Don't go anywhere. Keep it right here. Mercury this month transits direct to the sign of Taurus and it's going to influence your 12th house of spirituality from the 1st through the 11th of the month. And therefore, you're going to have to look at your religious or your spiritual expressions to understand what the future holds for you in those areas. That will be important to you this month. Mercury during that time, the 1st or the 11th. Now, Mercury continues in a direct transit to ingress your own sign, Gemini, occurring on the 12th of the month. And that's going to influence your first house of yourself, your appearances, how you appear to yourself, how you look to others, how you're presenting yourself. And this brings imaginative ideas into focus regarding how to present yourself in ways that are pleasing to both yourself and to others. And in the age of selfies that we're in now, there's an endless array of opportunity for self-promotion. So you can just go on and on with selfies. But you can also take a gander at how you feel you're presenting yourself. You're going to want to be more imaginative is what this means. Self-esteem, though, is easier to attain when Mercury transits direct in Gemini, especially if you have strong ast astrological facets uh, in your chart in the sign of the twins. Now, uh, we are very good at astrocartography and we're good at astrology because we incorporate both Western and Chinese into it. So you want to go ahead and contact us at www.readingsbyrosemary.com if you want to get a chart done or an Enneagram algorithm done. We also do tarot, I Ching, rune stones and many other things angelic channelings and the like because uh, we specialize in Rosicrucian visions and uh, being a seer Rosicrucian seer regarding the ingress here we have Mercury is going to ingress into the sign of cancer on the 29th of the month still in a direct transit that's going to affect your second house of money and possessions a direct transit of your ruler Mercury in the sign of the crab sets you up nicely, granting material comfort, especially with financial assets that have to do with the home and the family. Keep in mind that although this transit affects the twins specifically in your second house, the crab is the natural uh, fourth house of hearth, home, family. Hearth is like kitchen. Where the, where the heart of the home is, hearth and heart. Mercury is known as the attribute of God, the winged messenger found in Acts 14.12, and they called Barnabas Jupiter, but Paul Mercury because he was chief speaker. Now let's see how your ruling planet of Mercury affects you this month, Gemini. And Pastor Rosemary, the astrology angel, thank you for joining us. Your air guardian archangel Raphael speaks through to you from your Gemini archangel, who's the astrology archangel, Ambriel. This is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Gemini zodiac angel Ambriel, who resides over the twins' mutable air. And here are his messages for you in love, money, and health. First, Ambriel's love, sex, and romance transmission. You are being given critical tests, it's very important, by God to quicken your soul in the area of your emotional relationships. There are many disagreements among friends, neighbors, and family members at this time as you try to still the storms of anarchy. Attempting to control events in the same manner in which you controlled them in the past will not work out for you this time. It's not going to work out 
this time around if you try to do it the same way. Strict attention must be paid to all, all, uh, all of your travel plans, your vacation itineraries, your timetables, and your finances if you are to maintain productivity this month. So if you want to be... Uh, if you want to feel that you're efficient and getting somewhere this month, you've got to pay attention to those details, especially when it comes to traveling, that kind of thing. For Ambriel's uh, money and wealth transmission, this is with the help of the Archangel Raphael, who rules over all the air signs and who is a divine physician. Auspicious portents favor you this month, Gemini, in the area of your accumulated wealth, jobs, and financial status. You have worked very hard, and you, you've worked extremely hard, and you know you have, and you feel you, you need to uh, remind yourself of that, not just others, but yourself. And you will have the rewards of your labor because when it comes to money, you've behaved in a frugal manner, and you've, you've caused others to trust you when it comes to money. And that's, that's no small thing especially these days it's no small thing to be trusted when it comes to your money so know, be of good cheer know that you've done well in that area uh, it's not to be taken lightly uh, since money is obviously one of the mo most basic and core concerns that that people are going to be very protective of at this juncture that which seems to be ignored actually is the most sheltered and the loss of it most feared. So if you feel ignored, you feel invisible, that's because you're being sheltered, protected, because you're the most cherished and valuable. So you have to decide whether you want to be sheltered, cared for, protected, or whether you want to be more able to be out there. But then if you're more out there, then you have to put up with people not always treating you well. So, but again, Gemini is very intelligent and good at that kind of thing. Now for Ambria's health and fitness transmission, the best way to improve your health this month is to allow past hurts to go by the wayside. It's very important. Allow any old grudges to be dissolved and then healed in the light of God's mercy. You are entering into a new life, being given a new mind and a new heart. Our bodies reflect our emotional state. Therefore, healing of old wounds is paramount to good health and ultimate fitness. So you can have a lot of healing this month if you pay attention to that. For this month's Lucky Runestone prediction, again, we have for you the summer and the winter solstice in the North and Southern Hemisphere for Gemini. It's Iwas, E-I-H-W-A-Z, Iwas, endurance and comprehension of complex relationships affords you the ability to further disciple yourself, uh, excuse me, further discipline yourself, excuse me, through gaining a better understanding of the next level of the soul's development. The path of the hippopotamus is the path of judgment. The path of the sacred cow is the way of dreams. Ne nevertheless, you will now choose the lion's path of transformation and gain much in the spiritual world, forsaking the need for gain in the material realm. For the winter solstice, southern hemisphere room prediction for this month, we have El Haz, and that is an omen of good luck mingled with affluence as well as victorious outcomes uh, allows for confidence and the achievement of phenomenal powers. And disclaimers in order here. High magic can be dangerous. This is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes. Remember to chant your divine tone of I think or try out the higher as aspect of simply meditating on the quality of thinking and be wise, be well, be all you are meant to be, Gemini. For the ephemeral calculations for Eastern and Greenwich Mean Time, we have first Eastern Daylight Time, the new moon on the 4th of June 2016 at 11 p.m. at 14 degrees Gemini, 53 minutes. The full moon on the 20th of June 2016 at 7.02 a.m., 29 degrees Sagittarius, 32 minutes. For London, Greenwich Mean Time, we have the new moon on the 5th of June 2016 at 3.01 a.m., 
That's at 13 degrees Gemini, one minute. The full moon on the 20th of June, 2016, is at 11.03 a.m. at 23 degrees Sagittarius, 47 minutes. Now, we have coming up for you a clip on some of our classes and seminars and some information about some classes we have on Nibiru and some Zachariah Sitchin information. Uh, but first, uh, let us just thank you for joining us, Gemini. I'm Pastor Roseman, Astrology Angel. We'll, we'll see you next month, but stay tuned for that clip because a lot of good information coming up right now. We'd like to take this time to give you a little uh, update on our next Merkaba class. Some say Merkaba, some say Merkaba, potato, potato. But anyway, our next advanced session for the Merkaba class and the Merkaba Enlightenment is going to be in August of 2016. So we want to make sure that you uh, are aware of that. And those who are completing the beginner uh, class are going to be going into the intermediary class. And the intermediary class is going to be in December. And then those who are finishing up their intermediate class from last December are going to be able now to take their advanced class. So make sure that if you want to sign up for that, you either talk to myself or you talk to uh, some of our staff and our associates who are helping us. You can contact us online or you can contact us by phone. Uh, you can do it snail mail, even uh, we have that available to you. Anyway, you want to go to www.readingsbyrosemary.com where you can sign up for that class. Okay, it's, it's filling up fast because we've had a lot of graduates from our intermediate class from last December. All right, so make sure that you uh, sign up for that and that you do it in time because you're going to have to probably get your... Uh, your information into us, your details into us prior to July 30, 30th. That's, that's the deadline that we'll be able to, to have everything set up for you nicely. There's also going to be a seminar on Nibiru and what can be expected regarding Nibiru in 2017. We're going to have a seminar on that. We're going to have that in December of 2016, that's this year. And it's going to be uh, starting before Christmas, and it'll be about probably we're looking at the second week of December for that. And then we'll have follow-ups as we lead into 2017, which is a very important year for the subject of Planet X or Nibiru. And those of you who are familiar with uh the author Zechariah Sitchin's work will be interested in that. Many are saying they've discovered the ninth planet and that indeed it is planet X. Um, the ninth, there's always been nine planets, so they made Pluto a planet toy, so they can now say it's a ninth planet instead of a tenth planet, so you understand why that's happening. But it doesn't matter what they want to call it or how many planets they want to downgrade so it sounds like we have the same amount of planets. It doesn't matter how much they do that. This, this is something that has been reported on by by the authorities by by scientific authorities and by nasa and we're going to have upcoming videos on that there's some very important astrological events cosmological events going to be happening in 2017 we're going to keep you up to date these things uh can it can be something that might cause a lot of earth changes, so you're going to want to make sure you're up on that. It's also going to cause energetic changes in the body. You're going to want to learn how to deal with your diet properly, your meditations properly, uh, that kind of thing where you can settle yourself and make sure that you and your family not only make it through these earth changes, but also do quite well and take advantage of the energies and the changes rather than having it be something that might frighten you. This can be something very productive for you and something that can unleash your creativity. All right, thank you. So again, visit www.readingsbyrosemary.com if you want more information on that. 